Hello okay, guys, so welcome back to this course. So now in this video, we will basically update the user profile. If you want to update its name, email, or profile picture, then we also have to uh, give that option definitely. And before that, if I go to my Chrome, I have seen a small bug. You can see that here. Uh, this uh, drop down arrow is under the name of the user. You can see right here. So what I do is I simply go back to my VS Code in the components and the layout and header.js and in header uh, we have to simply go to the name so image then this user.name where it is uh, here and this is the button though so this is the link uh, drop down toggle and let's give it margin right of three simply save it and now i go back uh, you will see here let's give it four so four save it and now this one so okay and now let's first of all go back and close this header it is done now go to our user and the user uh not an user we have to go into first of all the reducers user reducers and let's create here the reducer so I simply type here const uh, sorry export const export const user reducer and equals to the state oops that is state and this is I'm simply going to put here nothing and then the action okay and then here first of all I have to use the switch so switch action dot type first of all the default case and that we are going to return the state itself okay and then let, first of all define our constants so got constants user constants and I simply for example copy this one uh, so copy and let's put it here after this so that is basically update password so I simply select this one so control D and simply type here update password so update password request update password success and update password fail simply copy it so control C save it go back and simply have to import it so I simply type here the request then the success and then the fail okay and I simply go to here and define my first case so case that is update user request okay and then that I simply going to put here return and first of all in the return I simply have to set the whatever in the state and then let's set loading to true okay and after that I simply define my second case so case that is update oh I, I have used the password oh that is profile not update password so so I simply go back to my constants and let's find our profile we don't have to update the password we have to update the profile in this video okay so let's select this password that's profile okay and let's not remove this one we will use these constants in our next video okay so simply import this update profile request okay so go to top that is update profile request oops um, let me type update profile request then update profile success then that is profile what is happening and then the update pass uh, profile fail okay so let's use here the profile not the password okay so for the update 
profile success. I simply return here that dot 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 state whatever in the state and then let's set loading to false and in the uh, i've simply type here is updated because you only have to check that if you use this updated or not and we know that on the back end we have the success variable that will be true or false so i simply pass in here the action dot payload and that will be success okay so is updated whether it be true or false okay and then let's also define here case update user uh, red profile fail and then we simply have to return whatever in the state and then let's put here loading to false and then the error to action dot payload all right and we i also have to manage one more thing that is reset because after it at first time the is update is true so i have to basically redirect based on this value so i have also reset uh, after updating the user, you also have to again set the is updated to false. Okay, so what I did is simply go back and find one more variable here uh, control C V and that is reset. Okay, simply save it, copy this one, go back, and let's import this one also. And now we simply go back and let's put it here so that is case this one and we simply have to return from here and in the reset i simply pass here dot 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 state whatever in the state and that simply is updated to false okay we will simply after updating the user and this one i will reset it so it will set updated to false okay so now i simply uh, go to the store.js and let's bring in our auth reducer let's bring in our user reducer okay uh i think so this is this is user reducer okay and let's put in here user user reducer okay simply save it and close this one this one and let's create our action so go to in actions user actions and let's put here the update profile so i simply uh, copy this register user so copy and then i simply put it right here so that is update profile and let's put in here update profile we simply first of all have to get our these variables so I simply copy them from here control C go back and let's bring them in here okay so now first of all in update user I have dispatched the update profile request okay and then we have to send the put request because we have updated the uh, user data so data then exios dot put slash api slash v1 slash v slash update okay we pass the user data the config then update profile success and the payload we have to pass the success value uh, value that is uh, true or false okay and then in the error we have to dispatch here the update profile fail okay simply save it and we are done with our profile function and now in my next video i will create the update profile component and I will uh, call this update profile and pass in our data and then we will update the user. Okay. So I hope you understand what we have done in this video. So that's it. I will see you in the next video.